crusader and female soccer star Megan Rapinoe is facing a racism scandal. That's right, now that we empower ideological hate mobs to ruin people's lives over 10-year-old tweets, Rapinoe's career is in the mud. Hey, you made the rules. In May 2011, Rapinoe tweeted, quote, you look Asian with those closed eyes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Earlier this month, England cricketer Ollie Robinson was banned from international matches after a fence archaeologist uncovered tweets he posted when he was 18, which sound virtually alike to what Rapinoe posted when she was 25 years old. He looked like some kind of hostage after being forced to go on TV and offer a groveling apology. I'm embarrassed by the racist and sexist tweets that I posted over eight years ago. Ollie Robinson was cancelled. Now it's Rapinoe's turn. You made the rules! You know what makes this even funnier? It's the fact that Rapinoe is one of the most obnoxious, insufferable, self-entitled brats that you could ever encounter. What do you have to I say? What do you deserve? I deserve you deserve all of it. It couldn't have happened to a nicer person. She led this stupid campaign for equal pay for female soccer players, while those same players were getting thrashed 5-2 by a team of 14-year-old boys. But no matter how much the sports media tries to shove it down our throats, no one's interested in women's football. It's objectively shit. pay for war. The 2018 Men's World Cup in Russia generated over six billion dollars in revenue. In comparison, the Women's World Cup is expected to generate revenue of 131 million dollars over three years. In other words, the Women's World Cup generated five billion eight hundred and sixty nine million less in revenue than the Men's World Cup. But yes girl, equal pay. No, you don't. Consider how aggressively, performatively woke Rapinoe has behaved in recent years. Refusing to visit Trump at the White House because orange man bad. I would not go. Kneeling for the US national anthem. Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Callously disrespecting old glory. Whining about police brutality and historical slavery. While literally signing a massive sponsorship deal with Nike. A corporation that lobbies against laws that would ban Chinese slave labour. Changing her avatar to a Black Lives Matter badge. It's almost as if that all along, she was compensating for something. The reason why so many extremely woke people turn out to have been bigoted in the past is because bigotry used to be the best way to bully and intimidate people, but now performative anti-bigotry is the best way to bully and intimidate people. An evolving toolset for sociopaths. No doubt the corporate machine and the media industrial complex that backs Rapinoe will respond with something akin to It's okay when we do it! Meanwhile, Ollie Robinson may never play for England again. Once again, this glaring double standard proves that political correctness isn't just about being nice to people. It's about weaponizing language to punish and publicly shame those who have failed to show enough groveling allegiance to the woke cult. It's about blacklisting those whose inferior level of performative virtue signaling has failed to satisfy the ideological purity test of the mob. Ollie Robinson's career is in tatters. Will Megan Rapinoe face the same fate? She's just become one of the new faces of Victoria's Secret after the company replaced their Angels models with Rapino, a Brazilian transgender and a bunch of plus-size models. Yeah, good luck with that. Totally not another ingratiating woke stunt to distract from the fact that Leslie Wexner, the billionaire founder of Victoria's Secret's parent company, had intimate business ties and alleged romantic ties with Jeffrey Epstein. Totally nothing to do with that. Will Megan Rapinoe get cancelled by Victoria's Secret? Don't hold your breath. But she should. After all, right? Hashtag stop Asian hate. Hey ho, hey ho. Rapper Noah's got to go. Rapper Noah should be cancelled. Her career should be finished. After all, you made the rules. I I It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.